Hey guys, Mark McMahon, Mark McMahon Real Estate. Welcome to the show. Right here with Anthony out in Torrance, California. We're doing a walkthrough on a project he's doing. Uh, and while well, I own it, he's doing it. He's doing all the hard work. I did the easy work, just wrote, wrote the check. Anyway, he's probably, what, about a third of the way through at this point? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, about a third of the way through. And uh, we've got about another three weeks or so to go on this project. What do you say? Let's do a walkthrough. All right. All right, so we're in the front of the house now. And so far, what have you done? We've painted the exterior, obviously prepped, patched everything. We got all new fascia. And that's about it. Okay. And we're still going to replace that roof, but you don't know it yet. So uh, anyway, yeah, all new paint. I'm ahead of, I'm ahead of that, bro. I got, a, I got a bid on it already. Oh, cool. So what's up? Uh, grass is getting green. We're going to reseed it uh, probably today. Yes, today for sure. Yeah, we have to probably yeah. if we're going to get it to grow. Um, we're going to add plants and things like that, but we're not going to do that till the very end because they'll just get killed. But uh, yeah, looking, <laughs> looking vastly different than it did the day we started. Definitely. So anyway, looking good, dude. Remember when we did this bathroom when we uh, first came here? They were, we were going to just keep this bathroom the way it is and keep this the laundry room, right? So we kind of changed that around a little bit. So what we did is we came in here and now we changed everything. Wow. Now we moved this wall over since last week. We moved this wall over. We're now going to put a, a bath. We put a wall here. We're going to put a bathtub shower here. We're putting the toilet there and then we're going to put a double double sink right here and then Oh, so close, so close. We could have made this work. Uh, we're gonna have to move this w window over just slightly, uh, unfortunately, or maybe we can get a smaller one to go here. But anyway, in a perfect world, this would have lined up. I was hoping it would, but it's exactly an inch and a half off, so. Okay, so this is going to be, <laughs> there's always something, right? We had a water lake under the house for a while now because no one's been under there for a week. So anyway, um, we'll get the water bill and we'll deal with that. And now we got to dry it out. We've got about three weeks left on this project, two and a half weeks, and we're going to have to dry it out between now and then so it doesn't mildew and, and get nasty. Anyway, so this room was the laundry room, if you remember. And again, we moved the wall and the bathroom over, and now this is going to be a really awesome walk-in closet. It's beautiful. We're going to put, we're going to leave the window here. It's kind of funky, but I hate dark closets. So we're going to put a rod across here. We're going to put a rod across here. And so it'll be a top and a bottom. And then over here, you know, we'll just stick and put up shoe racks or whatever they want to do. But that's what we're going to do here. Um, I think it's brilliant. And the way the layout worked is we don't have to move any doors. So this door can stay uh, with... Yeah, that's what I was, it's, do you know what, this is very appealing. <laughs> I said appealing, because uh -huh. we're appealing, appealing. We're appealing yes, to the yes. door. This is not the good part, down here is better. Yeah, if you can get that, that, and this is now the third video of us peeling paint. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, somebody else, somebody else took over this job. Uh -huh. So, and this door's got to go. So, it doesn't, oh, so it doesn't, it doesn't even happen. matter. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. So, where's the laundry go now? It's, so, so you saw the guys in the, let's go in the garage. So, yes. Yeah. So, unfortunately, just making that bathroom bigger, it just keeps going on and on and on. So, to make the bathroom bigger, we have to take the water heater and we have to move that somewhere else. And now we're putting a stacked washer and dryer here. Oh, I see. Right? So it'll just fit. So we'll put that there, and then you can still get a car in here. And then this will move outside, because it's still in decent shape. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Cool. So just making that bathroom two foot bigger, we have, to we have to change the configuration of one, two, three, four things mm -hmm. to give two extra feet to the bathroom. Yeah. But. Uh, when that one house sold and the comps went up, it made it all worthwhile so to do that. So what happened with that? Why did you decide to go from the prehab to now a rehab? Because we sold, we didn't sell, a house closed escrow around the corner. We were waiting for it to close escrow. Mm -hmm. 
and it sold for a million thirty, and that bumped our number up. So now it's worth putting another thirty or about thirty grand. We're putting an extra thirty thousand dollars into this house, so we'll probably put a new roof on it. We're making the master bedroom, uh, bed, uh, and it's a, like that, right? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, so we're making the master bath bigger, making a walk-in closet, moving the washer and dryer, moving the water heater. We're completely redoing the studio out there. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go take a look at that. All right, let's go see what Mr. Miguel is doing. All right, so at first, this was just, we were just gonna change the door because it was, seemed like a good idea. That, that's it, we're just gonna change the door. We're gonna stage it as like a studio or an office. But we decided to take it seven steps further. So initially this was built right on the ground. It still is built right on the ground. Uh, but we put a, sub, a floor in so that if it gets wet under there, it doesn't get wet inside here. Uh, new door, which you can see over there. Uh, new window. Oh, this is one of the old windows, I think. No, it's not. And uh, another window here. Either the drywall's crooked or the air conditioner's crooked, but that'll, that'll be different. Uh, we ran power over here, so we have outlets. Uh, this is going to be a great studio now. I mean, you can, it's going to be, you can keep it open beam. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be super cool. So this will be a big selling point. Yeah, this window's added, that window's added, door, drywall, air conditioner, floor. So again, it grew. But now we've got a space out here that is going to be amazing because most people right now, COVID times, I mean, if you're watching this video two years from now, you'll still remember it. But work from home spaces are huge. So this is, Especially I don't know. Especially having it detached from the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I had this at home, well, I'd still come to the office, but probably another 120 square feet of, of useful space here. And yeah, that's, that's, that's huge. That's huge. Um, and then so far in the backyard, they really haven't done anything here. Um, What's the plan with the backyard? Um, we're going to remove all this rock up here. We're going to go ahead and seal up the pond and we're going to fill that up with water, put a fountain in it. Uh, we're just going to mulch back here. We were going to put in grass, but I don't think we're going to get a bigger return because of that. So we'll mulch everything. We'll put in plants around here to soften up this. <sighs> yeah, that wall. And uh, then back here, we are going to put in 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 uh, for in memory of Max, poor Max, who's gone now. I mean, he's just gone out of state. But <laughs> in memory of Max, we're going to actually put a volleyball court over here. We're going to mulch. We're going to take that shed down. Obviously, get rid of all this crap. We're going to put a volleyball court in over here. We're going to put a big fire pit, um, and we're going to use. There's a bunch of big rocks underneath there, so we'll use that for the fire pit. We'll use that for seating around the fire pit. And we'll try to use up those rocks as much as we can because it's going to cost a fortune to, to get them out of here. But we'll just make this like a fun area. We'll probably put some string lights up. Um, yeah, I mean, when we increased the budget, um, the project got a lot more interesting. Uh, more money means more fun. Uh, but it's only fun if you're going to get a return on it. Don't, don't just spend money stupidly. The extra 30 we're spending here will probably get us an extra 50 on so, top of on top of the 30 so it's a very very good move for us to do this what's the total rehab cost then total rehab cost on this right now the way it sets is about sixty nine thousand dollars mm -hmm. so that will go up because it always does mm -hmm. but right now that's about where we're at so with the new budget i budget around 75 so i may put a new roof on and then we're probably going to stage this which we weren't going to do before so we'll stage the master bedroom, the living room, the family room, um, and we'll probably stage that office. And we won't stage the bedrooms, but. Woohoo! Excited about this one. The kitchen, not much to see here. Um, 
So this is another place we're spending more money. We were going to keep the original cabinets here. And I mean, if you've watched the videos that we've done last week, you, you know that we took the cabinets out. Uh, but if you didn't watch it, um, when we bumped up our numbers a little bit, we gutted the kitchen. We were going to keep the original cabinets, put in countertops and new appliances. Uh, but now we've gutted it. We put in some can lights and uh, well LEDs. And we're going to put all new cabinets in. Uh, we cut, took this wall out and we're going to put a bar top on top of that. Um, I think I just cut myself. Damn it. Uh -oh. uh, no blood. No blood, but I might need a Band-Aid. Uh-oh. Even there's no blood? Well, this possibly could be blood later on. <laughs> could be a slow bleeder. We don't know. Anyway, so... Uh, Counters, counters, counters all the way around. Refrigerator's gonna go over here because there's really no other place to put it. The refrigerator was right here before, but this was a floor to ceiling wall too. Um, this, is, this is really gonna be, this, I can't, it, I'm always blown away. This is one of the simplest things you can do is take out on these galley kitchens where there's walls on both sides and sometimes both ends, take out the damn wall. If it's not a bearing wall, it's, almost for free. It doesn't cost anything. If it is a bearing wall, it doesn't cost that much. So always remove as much as you can to open it up. This is a small house, but now it's a big space. It doesn't seem so crowded. The condo has this too. That bar top? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The condo from what? A couple of, couple of flips ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Uh, in here, nothing, no progress in here, it doesn't look like. Um, so, yeah, oh no, they, they, no, they fixed, they put the tile in. So, no, we've got tile. It's broken, it's inside there. So, yeah, we'll have to, uh, yeah, there's no way to fix that. Taint no way, I mean, we could chisel that out, but I'm really not into it. Me neither. Yeah, not. yeah, they can have a wood burning fireplace and I'm cool with that. That's actually it's very cool. It's romantic. Oh, there you go. Come sit next to me, Anthony. Yeah. Come on, let's talk. We're going to have to put that when so re it, rem romantic fireplace. Remember when the kids were young and we talked about going to Hawaii all the time? <laughs> yeah. Now that they're out of the house, we can do it. We can. We can. Oh, my God, that's so exciting. I know. I know. Let's, let's, let's make those plans now. Let's do it. Yeah, because I'm not getting any goddamn younger. Yeah, and, and nor am I. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> This is such a great neighborhood. I mean, so many houses that need so much work. And so this house, Palace Verde Stone, this one sold for 815,000. It's smaller than ours. And they've painted it since we, since we bought, since, since they bought it. And uh, um, they did windows too, I think. Um, but it was just painted, simply painted. So we were just gonna simply do the same thing, just paint the inside and carpet and do a few things. Look at this one. But when this other one I'm gonna show you closed, that changed our comp. Because this one closed, we knew this one was for sale when we bought our house, but it hadn't closed yet, <clears throat> so we didn't have a solid comp to go off of. So when this one, this gray one here closed, all of a sudden, now we've got a really, really good comp. Wow. This one sold for a million thirty, and uh, you know it was not a huge rehab. I mean, it's nice inside; it's everything's new. But and then you got this house next door to it. But but someone someone bought it and paid a million thirty for it. So we're going to. Uh, now obviously do a complete rehab on ours because now we can see the value in doing it because the only comp we had before was a prehab. So I don't like setting the precedent. I don't feel there's a need for it. I don't think that uh, it makes me braver or better. It just makes me smart in my opinion. But I do have the ability to uh, shift my thinking and that's what we did here. So like I said earlier, we put another $30,000 into this uh, from our previous budget, and we'll end up probably. I think we'll be able to sell this one for 950. No, I think my previous previous number was about 850. Wow. So I think we'll do well. 
I think we'll do well. Maybe I'll get Allie a new laptop. Oh. Because that speaker of hers is driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. What was the purchase price on our ours? Uh, about seven oh five, I believe. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on the job walkthrough. Keep tuned in because we're going to be doing this every week so you can see the progress on this project. It's close to home so we can do this. Um, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Sign up for notifications. Allie really likes that. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you. All right, man. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey, guys. Check out these two videos. They're really going to help you on your investment journey. I'm also on Instagram. Tons of great video content there really good stuff. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.